Let's talk about Dante Pettis real quick. It's looking pretty clear that he's not going to turn his career around with the 49ers. So now we're going to group him in with the famous wide receiver busts the Niners have drafted since I was a kid. And it started with J.J. Stokes. That was the gold standard. J.J. Stokes had a career, though. It's looking like J.J. Stokes may have a bigger imprint on the NFL than Dante Pettis. And then there's, of course, Rashawn Woods and A.J. Jenkins, two of the worst 49ers of all time. So where does Dante Pettis currently factor in the 49er wide receiver bust spectrum? So I'm Rashawn Woods, A.J. Jenkins, Dante Pettis, and then a humongous gap. Like huge, yeah. San Diego to San Francisco size gap. JJ Stokes. That, that's yeah, JJ it. Stokes wouldn't want to be in the same conversation as Don. No. He would take that, he would take that personally. <laughs> He's done a lot more. He's had a yeah. couple of seven hundred yard seasons for the 49ers, not a different team. Okay, okay. I, I that's all right on the money. That ranking is just. Uh, I, I, Where's Dante? Where's Dante? Where were you doing so good? You cat the whole time at training camp. Man, now, now he's like, now he's nowhere to be found. King of the cat Simba out there. Like, where are you, dude? I, I, my friends, you flake more than my friends the way you're throwing up. I mean, I don't know. What, was it just because he didn't get that? He didn't dive for the ball or something like that? I mean, not, some of the premier wide receivers don't dive for the ball, but because Jimmy's not healthy. Here. Huh? He ain't Vermeer. I think they, they'd want to see a little bit better effort from him. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, no, of course they, they do because they he's all this talk about, oh, he can't stand criticism. But ah, man, it, what, what use can you find for him? I mean, everyone last week was getting picks. Uh, Kendrick Bourne, Trent Taylor had a that nice crosser. Um, Ayuk started showing up. I mean, at this point, it's like, why, why is he even on the team? Where he, people want to say trade him, but he has no trade value. What are you going to get for him? What are you going to get for him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. It's going to be Jenkins first, then Woods, and then and then Pettis. Yeah, I don't really even see uh, Stokes much as a as a bust. I remember him as a decent number two to, to Terrell Owens, you know, on some on some playoff True. teams, you know, with Garcia as the quarterback. But uh, yeah, those would be the that'd be the way I'd rank him. Sorry, JJ. I take it. I was real young back then. I remember being disappointed because they traded up for you, and everyone said you were going to be the next Jerry Rice, and you weren't. And my eight year old brain couldn't wrap my head around. The fact that you didn't live up to expectations, JJ, and you went to UCLA too, and I went to you, so I'm just disappointed. Fanboy. So, yeah, I mean, look, Dante is definitely in the Rashawn Woods, but I can't put him in the A.J. Jenkins category. No, no, no. no. A.J. Jenkins is Niner fans didn't see him. He had one catch. Niner beat writers saw him. We saw him every day in camp for a couple years, I think. <laughs> At least one, probably two, and the, thing, the guy couldn't yeah. even catch passes in camp. He couldn't get open one-on-one -on -one in those drills. Dante can. So Dante's way better than AJ Jenkins. That's that's yeah. his legacy in the NFL. Way yeah. better than AJ Jenkins. All right, let's move on. I was gonna say really <laughs> quick uh, for people that are wondering, like, why do we keep bringing up Dante Pettis? It's because he has so much potential. I saw um, Justin Jefferson's game, the rookie from the Vikings. Dante Pettis moves a lot like Justin Jefferson. It's a little like flailing arms, flailing nice little legs. Wiggle. But yeah. what I see differently is he has heart, he has hunger, and that's something we haven't seen from Dante Pettis. Yeah. Well, the thing with Justin Jefferson, he played in the SEC, and we've seen what we've yeah. seen from Kinlaw and Debo is the physicality. Those guys come into the league and they don't seem overwhelmed. It seems like mm -hmm. the jump from the Pac-12 to the NFL is huge, and some guys are overwhelmed. It's just yeah. too much for some guys.